Hey everyone! Today I will show you how to make the perfect medium rare tri tip in the oven using the reverse sear method. In my previous tri tip video I'm using a meat thermometer, but many of you asked me how to cook the tri tip without it. So here it is. In this video I'm using a tri tip that is exactly 2 pounds. And this cut of meat usually is right around that weight. Take the tri tip out of the refrigerator 30 minutes prior to cooking. And after 30 minutes, start by preheating the oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 135 degrees Celsius. While the oven is preheating, season the dry tip with kosher sea salt on all sides. Don't worry about the amount of salt, because kosher salt is not as salty as regular table salt. By doing so, we will create a nice crust on the outside of the dry tip. Once the oven is preheated, Place the tri tip in a baking tray with the fattier side down and place the tray one level up from the bottom of the oven and bake it for 45 minutes. Tri tips are pretty uniform weight wise and the baking time should always be around 45 minutes. Once the 45 minutes are up, take the tri tip out and set it aside. Next, in a large pan, pour enough avocado or olive oil to cover the bottom very well. Set the burner between medium and high and wait for the oil to preheat. Once the oil is preheated, sear the top and bottom sides of the tri tip for 1 minute and 30 seconds each. Then sear each of the edges for 30 seconds on each side. When done, place the dry tip on a cutting board and let it rest for at least 20 minutes prior to cutting. When ready to slice it, make sure to slice against the direction of the muscle and start from the middle to make sure the meat is done to your taste. If you feel like it's too rare for you, sear each cut side for 30 seconds. But with cuts of meat such as the dry tip, always keep in mind that the ends are gonna be more done than the middle, so don't overcook those. I hope you find this video helpful and if so, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Goodbye.